Okay, so find a paper plate or something like that if you can. Press your clay down, flatten it out, not too thin. So maybe like a quarter inch thick. Choose um, some cool shells or the shells that you have and pick the side of the shell that has an interesting pattern um, and press that into the clay to make an impression. All right, so keep in mind you are making uh, cast fossils. So once you have the impression made, carefully remove the shell. Try to not disrupt the impression that you've made so that you can preserve that in your cast fossil. So the clay is representing maybe like mud or something like that. And here comes the glue, which is going to act like sediment. So if an organism you know, were to walk on some mud or something were to fall or shells make an impression in mud, and then sediment were to come along right after that and fill in, that is how a cast fossil is formed. So you're gonna spread that glue into those impressions. Try to fill in all the little impressions that you made. Now you don't want it to be too thick or it won't dry properly. So when mine's on the plate, I like to turn it to the side a little bit, try to get the glue to run and like thin out. And it's probably best to make two applications. So let that one dry for a couple days and then come back once it's dry and you're gonna fill in again with some more glue, AKA sediment. And that sediment, right, another layer of sediment, maybe you were to come in and cover up that first layer of sediment. Your sediment comes in layers oftentimes. And so you're gonna let that glue dry thoroughly. You don't want any white spots really left or it's going to make a bit of a mess. Once it's all dry, which this has been drying for four to five days, you're gonna carefully remove the glue, like peel it off of the clay mold. And what you're going to be left with is a cast fossil of the shell impressions that were made in the clay. And so the glue is acting like a sedimentary rock. Right, so a sedimentary rock, which might be made of sand and other um, bits of rock, and then it gets pressed down and over time, it solidifies into a rock. And you're gonna, this is how cast fossils are formed. And you, you can see, you can't see the whole organism. What you see is the impression the organism left behind into that soft surface. You might challenge a family member to look at the shells you used and see if they can figure out which part of the shell was used to create that impression or that fossil. You're welcome to repeat as many times as you want with the glue and the clay and the shells and you can uh, create more interesting impressions and fossils if you would like. I hope you enjoyed this activity.